Hello, everybody! Another week of You Don't Know Jack coming up! Wow, I'm in the last ten. Huh. 30 seconds to places. Hi there, I'm Donnie. What are you doing up at the whisking hour? Most people are catching 40 wanks right about now. Why aren't you slundering? Oh, well, since you're already aroused, we might as well get on with the magic. How many players are there tonight? Already aroused. I'd be t Never mind. One. One little player. Oh, well, why don't you enter your name? Why don't you enter your name? Why don't you? No. Hmm. Seems you forgot the most important part. Tell you what. I'm calling you T-Bone. Mm, Great. Now I get to tell you the institutional. Many questions will prevail themselves upon you. You need to wingle out the correct choice and impress the boutonniere next to it. There is a clock counting down your time, so if you buzz in forthwith, the more Sonorians you'll win. <laughs> Or surrender. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Ten seconds. Catch you on the flap side. Let's do a duck check. Six, five. Good I think that was just a call. Seven. W E O B. The asylum. This is Cookie, and last night I dreamt I was Shelly Long again. Again? Playing by yourself? Well, at least you won't come in second. And today's You'd wrong answer surprised. of the game is being brought to you by high-end brand leather toilet paper. We put the assy in classy. Try to choose the Indeed wrong answer you brought do. to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, what are we waiting for? Right off the bat, when you're old, bones are hard to come by. Hey, remember the nursery rhyme, Old Mother Hubbard? She went to the cupboard to give her poor dog a bone, but when she got there, the cupboard was bare and the poor dog had none. <coughs> Shut up, doggy! Somebody get this damn intern's dog out of here! <clears throat> Based on his Scientology teachings, what advice would L. Ron Hubbard most likely give Old Mother Hubbard? Don't worry, you can see your dog in heaven. Don't worry, you can see your dog in another life. Don't worry, after your dog dies, it ceases to exist. Or, don't worry, there is no such thing as a dog. There was reincarnation in Scientology, wasn't there? Scientologists believe that people come back in life after life after life. A kind of reincarnation. Actually, according to Scientology, Old Mother Hubbard may herself have been a dog in a previous life. Not that she's any sort of hottie in this life, either. Hey, now. Here we have... Good luck, Woodchuck. Okay, listen carefully. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, and the woodchuck would not chuck anything else, regardless of how much wood the woodchuck could chuck, what would the woodchuck be? Caprophagus, xylophagus, necrophagus, or geophagus? Uh, no, no, I'm gonna say xylophagus. Chucking, eating, or burrowing into wood yeah. are all examples of xylophagy. That's how a xylophone gets its name, because it's made out of wood. <laughs> Which only serves as another reminder. Never leave your woodchuck in the same room as your xylophone. I'm not going to go into Let's detail try on those other three. Uh, where pop culture meets agriculture. Answers. All right, before we ask our next question, we're going to bring out a young member of our local 4-H club, Jimmy Ritter and his prize cow, Shamrock. Gee, thanks, Mr. Masterson. I'm excited to be on the show, and so is Shamrock. <laughs> Okay, Billy, you're gonna have to clean that up. Anyway, go for it. If the 4-H club wanted to cut the crap and change its name to the number of H's that really appear in its four-word motto, what would it call itself? 5-H, 4-H, 3-H, or 2-H? No, oh, I think it's just heart, health, and hands, isn't it? When Shamrock does something wrong during a 4-H competition, I thwack him in the groin area. Don't make me do that to you. Oh, Harsh. honestly. H's in 4-H stand for head, heart, hands, and health. But health has two H's. Huh. So, Billy, you, okay. uh, you raised Shamrock yourself? That's Jimmy, Mr. Masterson. And, yep, I raised him from a young calf. <laughs> well, you two must be real close. We sure are, but farm life is farm life, and now it's time to slaughter him. Hey, hey, hey! No! That's about right, too. Coming up next, Zhu's your dad, and it's a dis or dat. 
I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's the name of a Juju pet electronic hamster oh, Lord. or a form of decon brand rodent bait. If it's the name of a Juju pet, oh, press one. God. If it's a form of decon rat bait, press two. Each one right gets you some cheese. Each one wrong gets you a little bit of the hot dog virus. And keep an eye on the clock. Finish the maze quickly for a bonus reward. Ready? Let's go. Pellets. Patches. Wedge. Chunk. Pouch. Nugget. Num nums. <laughs> oh, damster. They need to come up with num nums more often for. Rat bait. I've got some decon pellets, pouches, and wedges here, and to tell you the truth, they look and smell delicious. I sure would like to... Hey, intern! Yes, Mr. Masterson, you called? Here, Jason, try this. It's Jennifer? Right, whatever. Try some of this chicken. Oh, okay. Hmm, well, all right. I guess I'll have some fiddle-faddle. Same reaction either way, I think, but, you know, to eat their own. Here's one for you, son of 10,000 maniacs. Based on its ingredients, which root beer might help the kids on Elm Street stay awake to barks. fend off Freddy Krueger? A&W, Barks, Mug, or Hires? Barks is one of the few root beers to contain caffeine, which might help the kids on Elm Street stay awake so Freddy Krueger doesn't kill them in their sleep. Barks Another way bite. to avoid Freddy, don't move to Elm Street. You know, that wouldn't help. In the books. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And remember, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Well, no time like the present. But does the six love me? Here's one I Not like to call. Time. I'd rather be an old maid than a young nerd. If you lost your regular card deck and had to play poker with Magic the Gathering cards, oh, what would God. a full house look like? Two Black Knights, two Fireballs, and an Elvish Fury, two Shivan Dragons, and three Grizzly Bears, two Hearts of Ramos, two Hearts of Bogard, and one Heart of Light, or three Deliriums, a Throne of Bone, and a Void? Eh, the answer would be... Well, Watch it would be that, wouldn't it? In poker, a full house yeah. is three of a kind combined with two of a kind. <laughs> But hey, why play poker when you've got Magic the Gathering cards, am I right? That's 7 to 12 consecutive hours of inconclusive gameplay right there. A and you can still play tomorrow after you spend your entire allowance on even more cards. That's way too true to be funny for me. Up next, a question for the whole family. We need more family-friendly entertainment. Movies and TV just have too much sex and violence and bad language. It drives you. me crazier than a with a and a plug. What would you expect to see in the movie trailer for the family-friendly flick, My Diurnal Dad? Dwayne The Rock Johnson mowing the lawn during a full moon? Vince Vaughn reading the newspaper backwards? Gerard Butler waking up in the morning and sleeping at night? Or David Hasselhoff struggling to urinate on a camping trip? As funny as the last one. Nah, that was it. A diurnal dad would be active during daylight hours. There's nothing more family friendly than daylight. As opposed to the very unfamily friendly horror film My Nocturnal Nana 2, about a grandma who kills somebody every time she gets up in the middle of the night to pee. Blood and chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Why not try? I'm totally going to score. God bless the Great Wall of China Buffet on a Tuesday afternoon at 3. It's just me, piles of fried MSG, and some lonely people reading romance novels. And of, of course, course, I picked up some fortune cookies. Mmm, okay, here's my fortune. Mm. You will ace the next big test life throws at you. Mm. 
Interesting. What will I do then? Get a 32 on the ACT, get a 400 on the GED, get a 2400 on the SAT, or get a 10,250 on the MCAT. Okay, SAT is 600, ACT is 36. We'll say number four. Come on, this isn't rocket nope. surgery. Allow me. It's not brain science. A 2400 on the SAT is deemed a perfect score. Which is a coincidence because after lunch at the Great Buffet of China, I then again, SAT I never had to on the take toilet the for about 2400 minutes. We just took the ACT. Coming up. I don't think we're in Gotham anymore, Toto. Which Batman villain could double as a character from The Wizard of Oz? Dr. Victor Freeze, Edward Nigma, Oswald Cobblepot, or Professor Jonathan Crane? So I spent it at Scarecrow. Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. The Scarecrow. I hear they're remaking The Wizard of Oz to be darker and edgier, just like they did with the Batman movies. Dorothy is even going to speak in Christian Bale's scary Batman voice. There's no place like home! There's no place like home! Let me never let me well, Emerald City Confidential was pretty decent for a remake of that series, but... Here's a good one. Hot Jobs was not what I thought it would be. Times are tough, and I've been thinking lately I may need to get a second job to help make ends meet. Maybe use my skills as an artist. I don't have a lot of range, but I'm good at drawing hands. And no, that's not weird. Because they don't have a hand in their logo, which company is least likely to hire me for a hand job? United Way, Allstate, Lego, or Yellow Pages? The Lego logo is pretty much just... I don't think there's a hand in there, is there? United Way, Allstate, and Yellow Pages all have hands in their logos, but Lego does not. If the art thing doesn't work out, I could always try to get work in my other passion, Brazilian jazz. I'm quite the BJ expert. Of course you are. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, Press 1. 4,000 bucks if you're right, but you lose 4,000 if you're wrong, and don't ever forget. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I know who killed me. You're looking for the one who knocked him dead. Good luck. Okay. Oh, Chapman, wasn't it? Hitler killed himself. Now that Kennedy. No, no. There we go. Anakin or Darth or however you That would be a stingray. No, I'm not going to make jokes about it. There it is! A lot of people would be jealous of a performance like that. You might want to watch your back. Oh my god, what's that red light dancing around your head? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think that cold medication I'm on might be making me see things. Sorry to alarm you, Rainbow Yeti. You don't know Jack! That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? All right, give me the hey sign if you're interested in more playage. Hey, buddy. Hey, I may have to call myself birthday. Rainbow Yeti for the next game. Buy you anything, but this year, yeah, why not? I got you something from but the since I did cloud miss the wrong that? answer of the game, named after you. didn't see anything uh, that really would fit, except for maybe that, that answer. Dot yeah. so which cloud is mine? Let's show it to you right so, now, shall which we? Cloud is named after may I introduce... I'd rather be an old maid than a young nerd. 
If you lost your regular card deck and had to play poker with Magic the Gathering cards, what would a full house look like? Two Black Knights, two Fireballs, and an Elvish Fury, two Shivan Dragons, and three Grizzly Bears, two Hearts of Ramos, two Hearts of Bogart, and one Heart of Light, or three Deliriums, a Throne of Bone, and a Void. Here's what a right answer looks like. In poker, a full house is three of a kind combined with two of a kind. But hey, why play poker when you've got Magic the Gathering cards, am I right? That's 7 to 12 consecutive hours of inconclusive gameplay right there. A and you can still play tomorrow after you spend your entire allowance on even more cards. Five hearts isn't a full house. Five hearts would be a flush. <laughs> Just like the exciting flush that will follow every use of your new Leather Toilet Paper by High End Brand Leather Toilet Paper, because your end is high end. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. After me. Oh. Uh, okay. With that shown, sort of looks like a race it's time for sure. me to Steve, call this an this episode. You to get me for my Thank no, you all for joining me, totally and I will see you all again Listen next week for more Let's Play You Don't totally Know Jack. A real thing. You just did that by cupping your mouth in your hand. Well, I will see you guys buddy. then, go. and as always, Bye. I leave you with hey, the commercials. Get your friend a gift from the cloud registry. It's really a real thing. Are you in the market for a new used van? When you think Vans, think Vans, Van Vans, Van Lot. Hello, I'm Vans, Van Van, and I sell the sweetest Vans in the city. They've got 8-track players, water beds, airbrush murals, beaded curtains. Hey Vans, what's that weird burning smell? Never you mind that, kid. You'll understand when you're older. Hey, okay, my Vans don't come with satellite radio and GPS and la-di-da, but they do have character, character. and carpeted walls. So, when you think Vans, think Vans Van Vans Van Lot. Conveniently located down by the old abandoned airport that's probably haunted. You know the one. And remember, if Vans Van Vans Van Lots are rocking, be sure to stop in and buy a van from me. Vans Van Van. One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? Seventeen. I don't believe you. You look six. Aw, oh, man, shucks. Hey, kid, if you want to seem older and get into R-rated movies, you gotta smell older. Here, try a bottle of old man essence. Hey, me! One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. You have the mature smell of mothballs and elderly B.O. Sorry about before. Thanks! It's thanks, old man! Remember, kids, buy old man essence so you too can smell old enough to live! I like your hoodie. Where'd you get it? Pack Sun. Oh, well, where's there a Pack Sun? I don't know. My mom drove me. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Tween Conversations. <laughs> What the f was that? Find out tonight. Hello, I'm Senator Bruce Stegmeyer. I'm hard on crime, and I approve this cartoon bonus sound. And now a message from the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. I'm attorney Edgar J. Penrod. Have you recently been in an auto accident? Have you suffered major injuries? If you answered yes to both of these questions, then chances are you're the person I hit with my car last week. So call the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod today. Because hey, nobody wants to go to court, right? The law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. Sorry, our bad. Later tonight on the season premiere of Hoofs of Love. 
18 women living in a house competing for the love of one famous horse. Oh my God, he was in that movie Hidalgo? He was the one that wasn't Viggo Mortensen. Who's up for buddy 